What's up YouTube? This is Matthew back with you today. Um, I was out shopping with my girlfriend earlier and um, we went into a Rite Aid uh, drugstore and they had these boxes um, and I'm sure that I've wait. I mean I've never bought one. I've seen a lot of them. But um, a guy I know on Facebook was saying that he had actually got some pretty good hits out of these. Um, I'm not expecting any, you notice down there at the bottom it does say Jumbo Box, one in four container hit. This is repacked stuff. Um, and this was uh, $4.99 uh, or $4.98 plus tax. Um, with, the well, with my wellness card, I got it a little bit cheaper than that. But um, still, I'm sure, you know, that I'm probably, I see a wax pack of like what looks like 91 Fleer, one of the ugliest sets ever made. At any rate, I decided, what the heck, you know, I'd spend five bucks, grab one, break it, and see what we get. And I'm sure if this is a one in four that has a hit, if it is a hit in here, I am sure that um, it will not be much of a hit. Uh, the guy that I know on Facebook uh, said that he had actually pulled a autograph of Craig Biggio, a Hall of Famer, out of one of these, so... You know, I'm not expecting anything like that, but um, he said that other ones he bought, that they actually have them in football cards as well. He said that he had got some pretty cool uh, jersey, dual jersey autos of marginal players. So, you know, anyway, we'll see. I'm trying to tear into this thing here and see how, how it opens up and see if we can get out what's in here. Um, let's see, the top card is stuck. All right, all righty, and here we are with um, all of this. Uh, in the background there, I see uh, the VHS version of Nolan Ryan, Feel the Heat, came out back in like 92, uh, something my girlfriend picked up uh, a week or two ago. Pretty cool to find that. She got it for like a quarter. Uh, all right, I'll start with the card on top here that was showing. It's tops. Uh, you know, Felix, Sale, Corey Kluber. This is like last year's tops, it looks like to me. Or, uh, that's 2015. Sorry about that. 2015. Again, like I said, I don't really expect to see a whole lot here. There's a Miggy Cabrera. Yeah, some minor minor stars. I figure it's going to be all base. But but you never know uh, what you might find. De La Rosa, Kayla. Mike Fears, D. Gordon, Houston Street, pretty cool card, looking card there, you know, getting the, getting the Gatorade bath, victory bath there, uh, Charlie Blackman, Carlos Beltran, Juan Cat, Jason Castro, sorry about that, uh, Topps Heritage, A.J. Pierzynski, cool looking card, oh, some junk era, Mike Maddox, for those of you younger Collectors out there that don't know, you've heard of Hall of Famer Greg Maddox. This is his uh, older brother, who was never quite a, no anywhere near as good a pitcher. Ted Power, Mike Sharperson, Eric Shaw, who has passed away now. Frank Williams, Jeff Parrott, 91 score, Luis Soho, rookie prospect. Um, let's see what we got here. Carlos Delgado, limited counterparts it's a nice looking insert of Delgado oh we got some older tops 83 tops here Joe Altabelli former manager of the Baltimore Orioles and um, this is actually uh, I can tell by the back of this uh, the shiny back this is Topps Tiffany Dave Tobik uh, Texas Rangers on a 83 Topps Tiffany a couple of top this is Tiffany this is 86 tops, Tiffany. I can tell by the glare on the back. You might not, it might not show up in the video, but I can tell Mike Lakers with the Giants. Here we got uh, Pat Borders. That's about a 90. That's a 94 Donruss. Doug Sisk, 83 tops. A checklist. No, it's got um, Vladimir Guerrero in his younger days. I believe that's Vladimir. Uh, anyway. Uh, Pete Falcon, 83 tops. Here's Pete O'Brien on a 91 leaf. These are some 89 Fleer, more junk era. Yeah, most every dealer that repacks anything is going to try to unload some junk era crap and along the way. Most of this 93 classic best Albie Lopez. 
Chris Sabo, Raphael Palmario. Those are some 90 Bowmans. Chet Lemon, Top Stadium Club. Here's 86 Fleer, Jerry Reed. Now, Jerry Reed is a very good uh, TTM signer through the mail. Autographs, and I'm an Indians fan, and I collect autographs. So I'll probably try to mail that off to uh, to Jerry and see if I can get him to sign that when I don't have a copy of that uh, card to him with the Indians autograph. Stadium Club, again, different year. Tom Pagnosi. Here's uh, J.J. Putz, uh, Allen and Ginner, uh, 2007. Daryl Strawberry. Back in the day, that was a really nice card. Uh, 87 Donruss. Uh, back at uh, one time, you know, he was the major superstar in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. This is 92 Donruss, Mike Jackson, Brent Knackert. Here's some Fleer Ultra from 93, Mike McFarlane. Uh, Alejandro Diaz. Let me see if I can get on through some of these here because uh, I don't want the video to get too astronomically long. Jose Sutta, uh, JJ Hardy, Kenny Vargas, Twins, sorry about the glare from the light, Lyle Overby, uh, I don't even want to try to butcher his last name, and let's see what we got here, Brian Morris, Jorge De La Rosa, Jamie Garcia, so, so far, basically a pack of crap, which is what I expected. Here is the unopened pack of 91 Fleer. I can remember back in the day putting together an entire set of this right here from, actually is mainly from rack packs and some of these, but these are some very ugly sets. I'm going to save that and give that to my little nephew there to open. Or I might do a little, put it with a couple of other packs down our line that I pick up, um, do a little for fun junk video. All right, let's see what else we got here and finish this pack off here. Nate McClough, um, Matt Holliday, Jose Fernandez, another guy passed away, Future Stars. Um, sad, sad that he's gone. Manny Machado, recently traded from Baltimore. Juan Perez, um, Nate Carnes, Zach Wheeler. Zach Wheeler's a guy who I think might finally put it all together now that he's healthy again. He's still got some nasty heat. Logan Forsyth. Torrey Hunter. Here's some 90 score. Zane Smith. Zane Smith's a great TTM signer as well through the mail. Travis Lee. And that's what I'll do with a lot of these. I'll go through the guys that are good TTM signers. I'll probably mail them off to get, a get some autographs with these. That's one of Walt Weiss, former American League Rookie of the Year back in 1988. But that's one reason I didn't mind just, you know, picking up a pack of these and doing a little video here. You never know what you might get. Tim Jones, Chris Davis, and Jake Arrieta, 90 Fleer, oh my gosh, Rick Serene. Um, Let's see, we got two cards stuck together here. Jake Lamb and Chris Capuano. Capano, Capuano. Here's some uh, almost vintage here. 1980 tops, Frank White, Mike Ivey. 81 Donruss. That's the first year Donruss ever made baseball cards. Rusty Cunts. That's the name right there, kids. Rusty Cunts. Always one of the funniest all time names I ever heard of in baseball. Uh, Ken Griffey Sr. For you younger collectors out there, this is Ken Griffey Jr.'s dad. Let's see, another 81 Donruss, Dale Austin. Here's some 90 Bowman, Tim Burke. Let's see what we got here. Craig Lefferts, 90 Upper Deck, Bud Black, Pinnacle. Pinnacle, man, that's truly junk era. Andy Hawkins. Um, most of this is junk, what I call junk anyway, whether it's junk era or not. Um... I'm just I'm not even going to read off all the names. We'll just slip through these the rest of these because I'm sure there's not a hit in this box. There's a Bo Jackson. Nine, this is uh, 
1989 Donruss Bo Jackson. It's in pretty decent shape. One thing about repack cards, you get a lot of cards with some dang corners. But that's probably the biggest hit in the whole box, and at best you might be able to sell it for a dollar. Gerald Alexander, uh, Chris Hoyles, Steve Hosey, he's a TTM signer. Anthony Telford, good TTM signer. Dave Stewart, former, former, you know, all Mr. Business Ace of the Oakland A's. Look at that serious look. That's what he was known for. Yankees leaders. This is 87 tops. It's got Don Mattingly and Ricky Henderson. Jack Doherty. Another checklist. You know, they love to throw those junk checklists in there for you. Rick Purcello. Joe Kelly. Nick Tepshi. Joe Kelly again. Yeah, we need two of those because it'd be a shame to only get one. Corey Lubeek. Mike, I think he is. Brandon Phillips. He seems to be as upset as I am with wasting $5 on this pack of cards. <laughs> but like I said, this was just, you know, for the heck of it. And that'll be the end of the pack. So, basically all these, the most valuable thing in the pack is, amazingly enough, a 91 pack of unopened Fleer cards, which is worth about 50 cents. And, um... The best hit out of the box, uh, Mr. Bo Jackson on an 89 Donruss, which is pretty pathetic because that's not really a hit. Um, but anyway, there, there's still a lot of people. Some older, you know, pretty good shape uh, cards here, but not nothing, not, not even really a lot of uh, semi-stars. Um, and if you want to call this uh, the hit of the box, which is, you know, the insert, uh, limited insert Delgado, um, for one thing, it's not even numbered. It's got Wally Joyner on the back, but it's not even numbered. It's, I mean, you know, I mean, if that's your in, big insert you're talking about, limited, ooh, you know, you got a ways to go. But anyway, I got some cool cards here that I could have pretty much bought. Or I've actually got millions of them, but I could pretty much bought them um, off of any card dealer I know for basically a buck for a brick of cards but i got some ttm you know some cars to try to get some ttm autos with and out of these and then um like i said i'll either throw that with something else to do a video i'll probably give that to my nephew but anyway that's what you get when you go to rod aid and you buy one of these five dollar packs and my buddy that says he pulled a craig biggio biggio auto i think he's full of crap <laughs> but um you know it does say contain one in four of these contain a hit, so you never know. But anyway, it was fun to open, and um, I thought I'd share the little break with you. Sorry there wasn't nothing more, you know, but better in it. I'm actually surprised, even though there are comments, that there was some Topps Tiffany. It's in pretty good shape from some of these older sets, especially the 83. Um, I can actually um, get a little bit of my money back from a few of these cards to some crazy junk era collectors that I send some Facebook groups that I'm in. Anyway, thank you for watching. Be back again soon in the future with more videos.